The idea was to take just any office chair, just off the line, model number 6239BJ, whatever, through an entire rainy season and then the drought. And so we did that. Uh, we filmed for an entire year every day. We uh, set up tents and we lived out there. And uh, every day we would take a pass around and just make sure that we captured that. It seemed like an important thing to do at the time. I didn't see anyone else working with office equipment, uh, outdoors, in the weather in deserted warehouse regions from formerly occupied naval bases. So I thought I had found a niche. Well, what I learned is that uh, there's only so much time you can spend on a project. And having dedicated a year to just shooting this project, I realized that I should probably move to, uh, at a faster pace which led me to the uh, Boiling Egg Project. Just uh, hit me one day, I was boiling an egg and it looked pretty good in there with the lighting, so I just, uh, I, I captured it on camera and I expanded it into a feature length film. Originally it was going to be a mini series. There were gonna be between five two hour or 10 one hour segments. I couldn't get any cable channels interested, so I reduced it down to just a feature-length documentary of the egg itself uh, boiling in the pan. I, I just happened to pass by this uh, CVS pharmacy one day and it seems that this person, he's a local, and he takes his blood pressure every day in the parking lot sitting on one of their folding chairs uh, he seems to be completely oblivious to the fact that there are other people, that he's in a parking lot. Um, but he also seems kind of lighthearted and carefree. So. 173 over 107. Well, I'm not surprised. Why? It's all this excitement. No, I mean, I, I don't trust this at all. That's ridiculous. Uh, once I found out that this person does this every day, we filmed uh, every day for a month, rain or shine. Uh, unfortunately, I have only my initial footage, which survived the shoot um, because of the incident uh, with the elephant. I'm sure there are still plenty of other subjects out there. So I myself am uh, going to be moving more into scripted drama. I have a couple of productions in the pipeline. So uh, it's been a real pleasure being able to talk about some of my former work. And I uh, hope to be making more soon. <laughs>